The well-known Kazakhstani journalist and researcher Sid Ahmed Kutukadam, in his book Tao of Altai, put forward a hypothesis that Central Asia, Altai, is the ancestral home of Indo-Europeans, Aryans. The hypothesis of a Kazakh journalist about the Central Asian origin of the Aryans coincides with the opinion of the famous French historian Jean Paul Roux, the famous American anthropologist Maria Gimbutas, and the American historian William McGovern. According to archaeological excavations, the indigenous population of Altai from the Neolithic era to the New Era belonged to the large Caucasoid race. The Altai Mountains, starting from East Kazakhstan, stretch for thousands of kilometers to the east, including Tuva, Khakasya to Lake Baikal. Several thousand years ago, Altai had a mild climate with an abundance of mountain pastures and rivers. Archaeological human excavations have shown that long-headed, tall people with blonde hair lived in Altai in the 2nd to 3rd millennium BC. Anthropologists note that the human remains found in Altai are very similar to Western European human burials. Human burials found in Altai, according to archaeologists, are the remains of the indigenous people, not other people. The isolated geographical position of Altai, the mild climate, contributed to the growth of the population of the ancient Aryans. At the end of the 4th millennium BC, the migration of the Aryans began across the Eurasian continent to the east, south, and west. The migration lasted for about 3,000 years and ended at the end of the first millennium BC. Migration continued in waves that increased and decreased. The approximate number of migrated Aryans in the third millennia was about 4 million people. The worldview of the Aryans was the worship of the sun and fire. The Aryans were nomads who bred horses, cows, and sheep, ate their meat and milk. They also consumed horse milk. The Turks later called it kumus. The clothes of the Aryan were made of sheep wool. They lived in felt yurts, moved in carts covered with felt. The weapons of the Aryans were bows and arrows, spears, sabers, and arcana. The Aryan language belonged to a large Indo-European family. Archaeologists in Altai discovered preserved mines up to 15 meters deep, where gold-bearing ore was mined. There were furnaces for melting ore nearby. Starting from the 2nd to 3rd millennium BC, the Aryans moved eastward from Altai to western Mongolia. Human burials of ancient settlers have been preserved. Archaeologists call it the Karasuk culture. Then they moved south to northwestern China to the Yellow River. In the 6th to 7th centuries BC, on the Great Chinese Plain, the Aryan tribes created several states. One of them, the Hebe Kingdom of Zhongshan, had a high culture, especially famous for its bronze casting art. In the 2nd to 3rd millennium BC, the Aryans of eastern Turkestan, modern Xinjiang, founded the settlements. The nomadic Aryans mingled with the local population, gradually moving to a settled way of life. At the beginning of the 1st millennium BC, the first settlements appeared, and then cities, Karashar, Turfan, Kucha, Kashgar, a Sogdian civilization was created the population of which was engaged in agriculture, gardening, and cattle breeding. Archaeologists have discovered literary monuments on the rocks of the Aryan Tokars, dated at the beginning of the 1st millennium BC. In the second half of the 1st millennium BC, the Aryans, Ueji, created a nomadic state on the territory of Jungaria, eastern Turkestan. The Ueji fought with the Huns in the 2nd century BC, were defeated by them, and then migrated to Central Asia. In the 2nd to 3rd millennium BC, the Aryan nomads migrated to the southwest, 
the territory of modern Kazakhstan and Central Asia, and further to Iran and India. In the north of Kazakhstan, there were Scythian tribes who settled throughout the Eurasian steppe from the Danube to Mongolia. The Scythians were nomads, the Sarmatians, akin to the Scythians, and Saks and Musagets lived in the south in the neighborhood. They spoke related dialects of the East Iranian language of the Indo-European language family. In the burials of nomads, gold items of a high degree of processing, golden figures of wild and domestic animals were found. Experts called the art of the Scythians the animal style. These tribes roamed the steppes, lived in felt yurts, and raised domestic animals. Their outlook was worship of the sun and fire. In 530 BC, the Persian king Cyrus II made a campaign against the Masagets living in the south of Kazakhstan. In August, the Battle of the Persians and the Masagets took place. The army of the Persians was defeated. Cyrus himself died in battle. According to the Greek historian Herodotus, the Masagetan queen Tamiris, after the battle, put Cyrus's head into a sack of blood and said, You wanted blood? Drink it. According to Chinese sources, in the period from the 3rd century BC to the 4th century AD, the state of Usun was located in the southeast of Kazakhstan. The ruler of the Usuns was Gunmo. The capital of the state, Chigu, was located on the western shore of Lake Isikul. The population was engaged in agriculture, gardening, horse breeding. To the west of the Usuns was the state of Kangui. According to Chinese sources, the Kangui state existed from the 3rd century BC to the 3rd century AD. The population of Kangyu produced their own coins, developed diplomatic ties with the Eastern Roman Empire and Iran. They were engaged in agriculture and cattle breeding. In the 2nd millennium BC, the Aryans began to conquer Central Asia, where previously there were civilizations associated with the culture of India and the Middle East. The Aryan nomads assimilated the indigenous population, who adopted their language. In the middle of the first millennium AD, a Sogdian culture was created, close to the culture of the cities of East Turkestan. The cities of Bukhara, Marakanda, Samarkand were created. The population was engaged in gardening, agriculture, built irrigation canals to irrigate the land. Nomadic Aryan tribes in the period from 2300 to 1900 BC appeared in the east of the Iranian highlands and further moved to India. These were the Persian and related Medis tribes. Around 800 BC, the Persians separated from the Medes and moved to the southeast of the Iranian highlands. In 624 BC, the Median king Kiaxhar united the Median tribes and created a large state, conquering Parthia, Uratu, and Armenia. Media became the center of the spiritual culture of the Iranians. In 558 BC, the Persian king Cyrus I from the Archimedean dynasty created a new state. It was the first world empire in the history of mankind stretching over a vast territory, from the Indus River to the Aegean Sea. In 330 BC, the Achaemenid state was defeated by Alexander the Great and became part of his empire. Avesta, written by the Arians in the 5th century BC, is the oldest literary monument of the Arians of Iran. Avesta is close to the culture and language of the literary monument of the Aryans of India, Rigveda. The Avesta describes the life of a prophet named Zoroaster, who was a real historical figure, the first religious reformer in human history. Zoroaster led the ancient Iranians to monotheism, to a worldview expressing universal human values. Although Indra was the supreme god in the Indian epic Rigveda, Zoroaster in the Avesta portrayed Varuna as the main god. In the Rigveda, Varuna was a minor character. The Avesta shows the continuing struggle of the sedentary Aryans of Iran against Turan. 
inhabited by the nomadic tribes of the Aryans. The language of the Kurds, Baluchis, Pashtuns, Tajiks living in the countries of the Middle and Near East belongs to the Indo-European group of languages. The Armenian language also belongs to this language group. In the first half of the second millennium BC, the Aryans started their invasion into northern India. The Aryans overcame the Hindu Kush Ridge and then entered India in the Punjab region. This happened in 1600 BC. The language of the Aryans of India was close to the language of the Aryans of Iran. The Aryans defeated the local population of the Harappan civilization. The Rig Veda points to the ongoing struggle of the Aryans against the local population of Dasya, whom the Aryans turned into slavery. The Rig Veda indicates the division of the Aryan society into castes, Brahmanas, priests, Kshatriyas, rulers, and ordinary people. The Aryans were nomads, herders, and lived in small villages. Hunting for wild animals played a large role in the life of the Aryans. Their entertainment was chariot races, dice, dances, and music. Alcoholic drinks, especially the sacred drink Soma, played an important role in the life of the Aryans. The Aryans tried not to mix with the local population, but the process of assimilation was gradually proceeding. The supreme god in the sacred book of the Rig Veda was the god Indra. Since the 3rd millennium BC, the Aryan tribes moved from the Altai Mountains through the Kazakh and Black Sea steppes to Eastern and Central Europe. The Aryans conquered the early civilizations that existed in the Balkans, in Central and Western Europe, assimilating the indigenous population and passing on their language to them, creating new cultures. The Aryans were nomads, herders, and first of all needed pastures for livestock. They placed their settlements in valleys protected by mountains and rivers, and additionally fortified them with high walls and an embankment. The ancestors of the Greek, the Achaeans, who roamed the Black Sea steppes, moved towards the Balkan Peninsula, and then to the territory of Greece, which they conquered at the beginning of the first millennium BC. The Achaeans assimilated the local and indigenous population, creating a great ancient Greek civilization. The Aryans settled on the European continent and gradually switched to a sedentary lifestyle. The languages spoke by the ancient inhabitants of Europe belonged to the Indo-European language family and were divided into the following groups. The Celtic group of languages is the ancestor of the modern Irish, Bretons, and Scots living in Western Europe. The Germanic group, people living in Northwestern Europe, are the ancestors of the British, Germans, Dutch, Swedes, and other peoples. The Baltic group, the peoples inhabiting the Baltic states, Belarus, Northwestern Poland, these are the ancestors of the Prussians, Lithuanians, and Latvians. The Romanesque group that inhabited southwestern Europe, these are the ancestors of the French, Spaniards, Italians, and others. Southeastern Europe was inhabited by Illyrian tribes. Southern Russia and eastern Ukraine were inhabited by Scythians and Sarmatians. The Slavic group of languages is the ancestors of the Russians, Serbs, Croats, and other peoples living in Germany, Poland, and Western Ukraine. Beginning from the 3rd millennium BC, peoples of the Indo-European language family lived in East Turkestan, in the east, on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean in the west, in India in the south, and in the Altai Mountains in the north. The Aryans made a huge impact on the history and development of world civilization. Uh. 